What's up guys? It's Amelia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my Ipsy unbagging for the month of March 2019. So if you guys want to see what I got in my bag, then just keep watching. I'm actually really, really excited this month because I decided to purchase some add-ons. I believe it's a couple days before they ship the package out that they let you choose some add-ons, which are just extra products you can purchase for a really nice discount. And they had some really good stuff that I've been dying to try. So I just want to show you guys what I picked up for half price, which is so unbelievably crazy. The first thing I picked up are these two Huda Beauty palettes. I've been dying to get my hands on one of these Obsession palettes, so I was so excited. They were only $12 each. So the first one I got is the Mobs Obsession palette, and just look at those gorgeous, gorgeous colors. I'm so excited to try this out. Uh, I've never actually tried a Huda Beauty eyeshadow before. The second one I got, which, oh my gosh, I could not not get this one. It is the Coral Obsessions one. I just thought this would be so perfect for summer fun and spring and oh uh, mm, I had to get it and the last thing I ended up getting is by Wander Beauty it is their mascara which is also in a tube I don't know if you guys saw my last ipsy but I ended up getting like a little mascara that was in like a really weird tube and I was so fascinated by it so when I saw that Wander Beauty had like one that was in a tube I was really really curious so this is their unlashed volume and curl mascara I've heard really good things about this so I'm really excited to try this too Okay, so those are the add-ons I did. Each one of them was $12. They have like a little $12 bracket and then they also have ones for $3 and you can only purchase three out of like all of the options this way. You're not buying like every single one, which as much as I wanted to like buy more, I totally get why they did that. It gives other people a chance to actually buy something, <laughs> which by the way, all of my add-ons did ship in the typical Ipsy bag. I thought maybe they'd ship it in a slightly larger bag or maybe like a box, but no, they shipped it in this bag. I feel like that's another reason why they only let you choose three add-ons so everything just ships in the bag and you don't have to get like an extra box or something anyway moving on to the actual bag oh oh we got some foil okay so there is a really cute little quote on here though and it says and off she went to change the world i think that is so cute and so appropriate for national women's history month that is adorable i kind of don't really like how they put the blue up here i get it it's kind of like a fun accent color but i feel like i would have liked a black i don't know that's just me being picky <laughs> So in the back we get this card right here and again it says it's National Women's History Month and then there's like a little paragraph right here that is basically saying this is for the girls out there. I feel like Ipsy keeps changing it on us. Like the first month this year I got a full on huge pamphlet which I really really enjoyed. I believe last month I just got like a bigger card and it just listed the products on one side but this time it's a smaller card and it has like a flip up thing and then it tells you all the information about the product. I'm not gonna lie, I think I like it like this best because if you like surprises and you don't like knowing what you get until you actually dig through your bag, I think that's a really great way to keep the surprise. So I kind of hope Ipsy keeps it like this because I do like having all the information of my products in one place. I don't have to go to my phone or anything. Okay, I'm feeling a box in here and I don't know. Oh, it's kind of like bent a little bit. So this is a Illa Matt Mosque. Illa Mosque? Hmm, I can't pronounce that name for the life of me. It's a Hydra Veil Rehydrating Gel. So is this like a moisturizer? So on my little Ipsy card, it does say it is a primer, which I would have honestly never got from just looking at the box. This best-selling clear gel instantly helps skin feel hydrated and smooth. It's saying skincare meets makeup with this Brit Brands Primer Moisturizer Hybrid. I'm all for like skincare slash makeup. I think it's so amazing. This feels so luxurious. I feel like this kind of reminds me of Tatcha, the way like the packaging is. Okay, got like a bunch on my thumb from trying to get the little top off. So it's like just this like clear gel. It literally feels like a gel. <gasps> Oh, that's so weird. So again, I don't want like my face to have a huge breakout. So I'm just going to put this on a little area. I'm just going to put it right here and see what happens. So, oh, this is so weird. Normally it's like a more liquefied gel, but this is a pure gel. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit on my nose as well. Just to see, because I always have like some flakes around like the side of my nose from being so dry. So we'll see if that helps at all. Oh, it's making the area feel really tacky, which is usually really good for foundation application. It does smell really nice. Like it's a very faint, kind of like lotion-y kind of smell. Um, just offhand, I don't notice a difference in my pore size or the oiliness on my skin. I kind of got a little sneak peek from looking at my card, but I did see that there was a foundation in here. 
so let's see if I can find it. Okay, so this is the Yensa Color and Face Skin on Skin BC Foundation, which is a BB plus CC full coverage foundation. And it also has a SPF 40 in it, which is really, really nice since spring and summer are approaching. I've never heard of a BB and CC cream combined. Now I have had the brand Yensa before. I wanna say I got one of their like powder foundations and I was not a fan. So I'm kind of nervous to put this all over my face, but I mean, we'll give it a go, right? I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on the back of my palm and I'm just gonna swatch it for you guys. So. I hope you guys can see it. it's right there. It does seem to be like a decent match for my skin tone. I kind of like just blend it in with my finger a little bit. So that's it right there. On camera, it looks like it's a lot brighter than my skin. And they gave me the shade Fair Cool. From what I see just on my skin though, it looks like a very glowy, dewy foundation. I'm just gonna dab it on my skin first. I'm just gonna take my favorite foundation brush and kind of just pat it in. Oh, this smells weird. I guess it's like a sunscreeny smell. So I'm down the center of the nose. I'm just gonna do a, like a half and half kind of moment. So this half is with the foundation and this side is not. I feel like this side is very, very dewy looking, very light and brightening. I feel like it's already settling into my pores and especially where I put the primer. All right, let's do this side and see if it's just doing the same thing to my pores on this side. Okay, so this is a full face of the foundation. I just did one layer. Definitely think it's a lighter covered foundation. I still see like scarring, redness, but overall it's just like a really light dewy foundation. I, it doesn't look bad. I tend to like more natural looking foundations, but this is definitely like spring, summer glow. So if you're into that, I feel like this might be a really good like BB cream, CC cream for you. I kind of tried building it up like around here. I feel like it wasn't really building that nicely. So I kind of just stopped. Overall, I don't think I'd personally use this. I feel like it is showing a lot of my texture, especially right here, which is where I put this primer. So that's really interesting. I feel like it's not laying on this primer nicely because this side looks a lot better than this side. So I'm really, really confused. Maybe these formulas just aren't going together. Okay, so moving on, we have a Green Clean Pharmacy Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. Oh, I personally am not going to be trying this out today, but I do love an idea of a really nice cleansing balm. Oh, it's like a minty green color. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's definitely like a balm. I'm going to try to update you guys if I do end up trying it. If you guys got this and tried this, let me know how you think about it in the comments below. I'm really curious about this. Okay, another thing I got. Oh, this is an eye cream. Oh, I wish I put this on before I put the foundation on. No. So this is a luminous collagen eye cream for hydration and protection, energizing and smoothing. And this is from the brand Answer From. It's supposed to deliver vital nutrients to the eye area, gently moisturizing and instantly brightening the dry, uneven, tired look. Oh, and it says it's perfect for use under eye makeup. Okay, you know what? I am going to be trying this. Let me just kind of remove the foundation from under my eyes and then we'll put like a concealer. Okay, so my under eye area has been really, I feel like dark lately. Okay, so I'm just gonna swatch a little bit. It's a very clear, almost gel-like formula and swatching it on the back of my hand, I do feel like it definitely has like a luminosity to it, which is really, really cool. I'm just gonna put this underneath my eye. See if this does anything. It smells like a lotion again. Okay, so this is the side with the cream and this is the side without the cream. I will say it does feel kind of hydrating, but it kind of feels sticky. I feel like a lot of times I have a really hard time finding under eye creams that don't break my under eye area out. Yes, I do actually get like bumps underneath my eyes if I don't find an eye cream that works for me. And I feel like sometimes I'll put in an eye cream and it just doesn't feel hydrated at all. As for brightness, it doesn't look brighter though. So we're gonna put some Tarte Shape Tape on and see if it does anything. Okay, so I just dab some concealer underneath and just taking a dry beauty sponge. I'm very curious to see how it's gonna work. Okay, I will have to say, I mean, it does look like it went over the cream pretty well. It still feels really, really sticky under there and I see some creasing already in the concealer. I don't know how I feel about it. Normally, I like it when my eye creams instantly like absorb into my skin, but I feel like this one's kind of staying on top. Let's just set the eyes really quick so we can set the rest of the face and see how powder goes 
on top of the foundation. I'm gonna use my favorite Peach Perfect Mattifying Powder from Too Faced. After putting the powder on, I can see that the foundation has definitely cling to like dry patches on my skin, which I see a little bit like right around the edge of my nose. Do not like. Okay, so we have one more product in here, which is surrounded by a bubble wrap. So, ooh, this is by Pure Cosmetics. It is a skin perfecting powder. <gasps> What? Afterglow highlighter. Ooh. I want to say it's in the shade Afterglow. I've never really tried too much of Pure Cosmetics. If I have, I've got it as a sample, but honestly, I don't remember anything that I've tried from Pure Cosmetics. <laughs> oh my gosh, this looks like such a gorgeous, kind of yellowy, beigey highlight. I'm gonna swatch it right here on the back of my hand. I hope you guys can see this right here. Almost goldy, champagne-y. The best way I can describe it is candlelit glow. So I'm just gonna dip my highlighter brush and start applying. Ooh, okay, so that's definitely a very warm highlight. I'm usually not a fan of like, yellow highlights but i mean it's pretty i feel like it doesn't blend flawlessly into the skin but overall it really doesn't look that bad it's very glowy okay it does kind of feel like i put some kind of down here and it is showing like all of my texture which i'm not a fan of overall it's really really pretty i feel like this is something that would look beautiful on the deck today okay, so this is my look after applying all of the makeup that was in my ipsy bag overall it's a very just glowy nerd nourishing bag that I got which I feel like is definitely a trend for spring you want your skin to glow like you know get out of the dullness of the winter all right you guys so that is the end of my video I really hope you enjoyed it if you did please give it a big thumbs up it really really does help support my channel and question of the video what did you guys get inside your ipsy bags I always love hearing what you got and if you guys want to see how my add-ons are working I am going to be doing another video for this so definitely come back on Friday and I will be trying these products out I'm really really excited to try them also if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Amelia. <laughs> if you guys want to see more beauty tutorials and reviews and just fun stuff like this, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button that is right down below. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the little notification bell that is right next to the subscribe button. This way you guys will get notified every Tuesday and Friday when I upload a brand new video. I hope you guys have a beautiful, glowy, dewy rest of your day and I will see you next time.